welcome back to Essex LFC Reds TV, where today, breaking news, absolutely from nowhere, Mo Salah, the Egyptian king, everyone thought was going to go on a free transfer at the end of the summer, or even potentially going this summer, has signed a new long-term deal with Liverpool Football Club, completely out of the blue, Liverpool did their business like no other team in world football, you just can't second guess what they're doing, but just um, it's on, just broke onto their on the website, so I'll just read you now the statement. Liverpool are delighted to announce that Havid Salah has signed a new long-term contract with the club. The forward, who was named FWA Footballer of the Year and PFA Players Player of the Year for 2021-2022, after helping Jurgen Klopp's side to a domestic cup double, has committed his future to the Reds by putting pen to paper on a deal on Friday. After five years with the club, Salah will now extend a stay at Anfield that has so far yielded a remarkable 156 goals in 254 appearances. Outstanding. Outstanding stats, really. The number 11 told LFC uh, TV or LiverpoolFC.com, I feel great that... I feel great and I am excited to win trophies with the club. It's a happy day for everyone. It takes a little bit of time, don't we know that, I think, to renew. But now everything is done, so we just need to focus on what's next. I think you can see in the last five or six years the team was always going upwards. Last season we were close to winning four, but unfortunately in the last week of the season we lost two trophies. Still gutting, really. Absolutely devastated. I think we are in a good position to fight for everything. We have new signings as well. We just need to keep working hard, have a good vision, be positive and go for everything again. Great words. Liverpool completed a deal for Salah from AS Roma in June uh, 2017. I can't believe it was that long ago, really. I don't know where the seasons have gone and time's gone. And the Egyptian made an instant impact, notching 44 goals across all competitions in debut season. That outstanding debut season that was, wasn't it? Fucking amazing. 32 of those came in the Premier League, setting the record for the most scored in a 38-game season in the division. His form not only earned him the first of three golden boots to date, but also FWA Footballer of the Year and PFA, PFA Players Player of the Year accolades, as well as a Premier League Player of the Season prize. He would help the Reds to the Champions League final against Real Madrid in Kiev, though it ended in personal and collective heartbreak. It was devastating. It was a great trip. We loved that trip, to be fair. It's, um, but yeah, it was heartbreaking being in the stadium. I think up until uh, uh, Ramos took Salah out deliberately, um, I think we were on top, really. But um, it was just heartbreaking the way it ended. And uh, we won't mention anything about Karius. Um, nevertheless, Salah was integral to Klopp's team, man and challenge for the Premier League title the following term as they notched 97 points and succumbed to defeat just once all season. Guide. And though they would ultimately miss out on a crown by a single point, Liverpool secured a sixth European Cup by defeating Tottenham in the Champions League final in Madrid. We had an amazing time in Madrid. It was outstanding. If you've not seen any of the videos from uh, Madrid, they're on the channel. Just do a search for them. It was fucking brilliant. Absolutely outstanding trip. With Salah netting the opening goal from the penalty spot. Then, the following campaign disrupted by COVID-19 pandemic, which is just our luck. It, in its later stages, the Reds blazed their way to 99 points in the Premier League and ended a 30-year wait to be crowned league champions, having earlier claimed the UEFA Super Cup FIFA World uh, Club World Cup that term. Klopp's men suffered a difficult 20-21 20, 20, uh, season with matches played behind closed doors for much of it. However, Salah's form was integral to in helping them to a third-place finish as he scored 31 goals in all competitions. Obviously, Nat Phillips was a massive part. Reese Williams was a massive part. Uh, Allison's header against uh, West Brom was also a massive part. But for me, you know I'm biased on Nat Phillips. He's the one who got his Champions League football. But um, but yeah, yeah, Salah helped as well with his uh, 31 goals, I suppose. Last season, the Ford again hit, hit the 31-goal mark to help Liverpool to a domestic cup double as well as getting going close to the Premier League and Champions League once more, narrowly losing out in both. He again collected both the F. WA and PFA prizes for the year's outstanding player in recognition of his form and added the Premier League Playmaker Prize for most assists to his latest golden boot. 
The 30 year old who celebrated his birthday last month currently sits in ninth place in the list of Liverpool's all time top scorers and this new deal represents an opportunity for him to elevate himself even further up those standards and help Klopp's men chase further silverware in the coming seasons. Salah added, my message to the fans is the players in the team want to give our best next season to try to win all of the trophies. As usual, you stay behind us and give us a big push. And I am sure we are going to win trophies again together. What can I say? Absolute shock, really. Um, amazing. Can't wait. To, just want to get the season started now. That was always kind of... Um, it was a bit of a concern, to be fair. Because um, it had been dragging on for so long. But everyone seemed really relaxed. And I think just us fans... I think we've got to stop listening to the media. You know, people are... People online today about like Salah's agent cryptic po tweets and all this stuff, and it's just like no one, no one knows what goes on behind the scenes. I kind of had an inkling that maybe like depending on the deal, that like, like Liverpool weren't prepared to give the deal to Salah and Mane, so they potentially let one of them go maybe, and then it frees up them to be able to then offer the contract that that the player that stayed wanted, i.e. Mo Salah, but. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely shocked. Um, turned into a great day. Not only last two episodes of season four, Stranger Things just dropped on Netflix. We get this Mo Salah news as well. Um, yeah, outstanding. What a way to start July, eh? Roll on. Roll on start the season. Roll on pre-season. Roll on the first pre-season game. Um, yeah, great news. Outstanding news. What do you think? Are you shocked? Are you happy? you got to be happy. Yeah, the stats... The most he's just a living Liverpool legend, really. Um, I know his form at towards the end of the season did peter off a little bit, but I think it's just he was on absolute fire up until the AFCON and then come back under I think he just wasn't quite like that level, you know, but still still quality. Um but yeah, great to have him there. Just hopefully now Firmino gets a new deal. Um and then more than happy that thought that forward line now looks electric, absolutely gutted. Not really done any videos really since the end of the season. I know I used to do a video after every game, and I kind of let that let that go on after the Champions League final. But I was in Italy at the time working, and uh, by the time I got back, it was you're still a little bit depressed about the Champions League final. But it was just one of those things. It's just one of those games. You know, a goalkeeper has a world. He's a good world class goalkeeper anyway. If we put our chances away, we would have won that final comfortably. It was like we were totally dominated, apart from couple of minutes in the um, end of the first half when Alisson kind of made an error, I think, uh, passing out for the bat or something. I can't really remember. They had a chance for Benzema score, but it was disallowed for uh, offside. But then, apart from that, they had one chance, one chance second half, and, and then they score. You know, we just switch off for that one second and they hit us. But to be fair to Real Madrid, you know, as much as they're an, I think they're an horrible club behind the scenes, but... The teams they beat on the route to that final, you know, you can't, you can't uh, grumble really too much. You know, it's just it was our fault. It was our fault really for not putting our chances away. We had plenty of chances to. Uh, it could have been easily, easily been three or four. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things. Obviously, what happened uh, pre-match and post-match around the stadium. That's just another story altogether. Absolute shocking scenes, uh, despicable scenes. But then, as football fans, Liverpool fans, we're kind of used to it. wherever we go in Europe. You very rarely get treated with any kind of respect. You know, they automatically assume that you're you're an hooligan and you're you're there to cause trouble. When kind of Liverpool travel in mass numbers, I'm just there for a, norm, a party. You know, we don't want Liverpool fans don't want any trouble. But um, but yeah, what I see, and um, you know, I, I really want to go into it, but it was absolutely uh, disastrous. But yeah. Going back to Mo Salah, outstanding news. What a way to start July. It's like a new signing, absolute new signing. We just got to get the ground running this this season. Let's concentrate now. We've got the domestic cups under our belt. Klopp's won everything. Let's just now concentrate on the league. I need that league. I need to be there for us to lift that Premier League trophy again. Champions League would be nice, but for me, the Premier League is what I'm desperate to win next. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I'll do another video soon. I've just had another delivery from DH Gate, so I'll probably try and do that video tomorrow morning. 
and um, I'll post that on the channel either tomorrow afternoon or probably Sunday. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your week. Mo Salah, the Egyptian king, signs new long-term deal with Liverpool FC. Can this day get any better? Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Come on, you Reds.